Welcome to Upgrade, I'm your host Frank the Tank and today we're going to bring in the Odyssey um, Samsung Odyssey G7, it's a 20 inch monitor um, It has FreeSync, G-Sync and it's compatible with all pretty much any game out there Right now if you guys can see I'm doing a refresh rate from an actual website that we always go through to do the testing So it's at 144 hertz um, refresh rate, ready to go if you guys can see it We're going to do a couple of tests on it and run it and you can see how fast it works when you're actually in game all right, first of all, if you guys can see right now off the bat how much we're running right now, we are going to run one quick test in here and to see the refresh rate on its track. So we're going to do the UFO tracking, if you guys can see it, and the blurriness of how fast. And these are 144 FPS, and you can actually tell what it is. And then it goes to 72 FPS and then 36 this is pretty much a norm right now we're running on the fast track if you guys can see it you could even make uh it, it's legible uh, you can see the character pretty good everything's running great on this part so um this could be conjunction working with an actual game that we have in here and if you guys can see this is an actual physical game that we have on the system it's battlefield 5 and look look at the refresh rate it's it's incredible you can't see too much lining on it but even after I shake it there. Um, the pixelation, it's with the graphic card. If you guys can see that, it's trying to catch up to itself, especially when you're running a, a, a high-end video card, but it's keeping up. Not that much of a pixelation distortion. All right, here we have a couple of inputs. If you guys can see, there's a hub uh, here, USB 3.0. And this is actually, it's an extender for the 3.0 that you're going to need to connect to your computer. So you could use these two USBs. Uh, if you can see, there's a, a display port and two HDMI and a 3.5 jack in here. So in order to sh use these USBs, you need to connect this one to share. So you're giving up one on your desktop to gain two. So it's not bad. Really good, easy to set up. Uh, if you can see it, this is mount. It's mount. You can mount this on a, an extended arm. Um, you don't need anything else. Uh, it does have all the tools that you need when you buy your hand, of course, but then you can actually remove the, the stand and add it to your place. So it is friendly for arms, mechanical arms. Huh, they blew them up. No, it's still there. Hey, okay, okay. okay. Oh, damn, you took a lot, three of them there in there, four of them or whatever. This is the quality of the game, look at this. You see the ray tracing that's yeah. on the water? Yeah. Look at the water effects, that's the ray tracing right there. Look at the shadow. Oh, you can see all the way back there too now. Damn. I'm still getting used to it. Ooh, good shot. Damn. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, you want to look good on camera. Oh, someone took my <laughs> yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. There's another right next to him. Almost. almost. Oh, he's, he's going to get you. Oh. Because I want to show that it is actually the monitor running. So let's go ahead and continue. One great thing about it is that you have your control panel right underneath. It's a little paddle and I'm going to put a little picture in here so you guys can see it. So you can click on it and it pops up right in the center. All right, console. So you got this is to sources and this is pretty much put a PIP. This is to actually place a secondary computer on a secondary screen if you want on a corner screen or something. If you want to be able to play games or watch TV over another screen, you can do that. Now this was the main menu and this is to return and then you got your power. So we're gonna go to the menu and see the options that you have. Uh, right now, currently we have 
uh, gaming, we could change all sorts of refresh rates in here, make sure that it's active. If you want to take advantage of the, situ uh, of the actual sync, the NVIDIA or AMD, you have to come in here and turn this on. If you don't have that on, that's an option that you, you're going to be uh, missing. All right. So uh, if you guys can see, you got to make sure that you have the highest refresh rate, which is uh, 144 on this one, uh, in order to enjoy the games. Now, picture. You got all the same options that a lot of monitors have. Uh, picture mode, right now we have it as custom, but you could go in there and change a movie, um, you know, work, all sorts of different, uh, and also you could save, you could customize it and save your own, um, your own settings. PIP, you could change the screen size, position, and source. Uh, On-screen display, language display, um, time per second, uh, system, and then you got your support in here. Uh, very simple to 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 manage and actually use the system. It's only one button in the bottom. You don't have any other button you have to worry about to actually control and the stuff. Now, if you guys could see the bezel right next to it, it's really thin. Um, not that much you lose out of it. Uh, it takes on pretty much the whole corners and um, uh, side angle. You can see it really good i'm actually going to zoom in so much so you can actually see some of the uh if you can see some of the pixelation uh distortion but you can't because um this one actually cap captures a bunch of um different motions and let's grab one of the one of the files in here and move it around here so you guys can see it and you can still see it visually so overall great monitor for gaming if you're looking out after Christmas sales, maybe looking out in Best Buy, Amazon, or other places, make a selection. So if you like what you see, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.